Hello everybody, I am Freddy, I am them bunnies, and we just watched the fifth episode of them secret invasions, and we have a lot to talk about. Um, well, actually not that much because it's a 39 minute episode, but yeah. So, let's just get this, let's just start this up with, um, crap, what was the biggest scene again? Oh right, uh, it was Fury taking the president to the hospital, because he was getting injured. And he was trying to convince, and why that he was trying to tell him, trying to convince him that Rory's a scroll and stuff, but I don't think he listened. Um, then I think we get to Gravik, where he, uh, basically the scrolls were starting to betray him. And one of them was telling him that they should not, and then he just, Gravik just killed him. I think it was Pajin, I think. Yeah, Pajin's dead. And then he calls Rhodey, or Rava in this case, because Rava's pretending to be Rhodey, and he says something about how they're gonna... So you see Gravik's plan now is to, to get World War III, that he's gonna... But he's gonna um, make sure the president knows about schools and that they're working with the Russians so that they plan on bombing uh, where the schools live. Yeah. That's his new plan to start World War III. Um, so... Anyways, we didn't get to uh, Rhodey coming to the hospital, and then Fury, of course, prevents, uh, talks to him. But Rhodey straight up says that he's about that he's about to release the footage of him killing Maria Hill, even though that's supposed to be graphic. And Fury had to leave. Now Fury is on the run, basically. Yeah, F Fury is on the r dang run. Right off the bat, he is on the run. Which is kind of interesting because you know how I wish he thought Fury would be on the run? How come? It was because of how everyone thought Fury was dead and they did not like how he faked his death. But I'm guessing they were fine with that. But now they're not going to be fine with um, uh, Hill, Fury killing Hill. They're not going to be happy with that. Anyways, um, what's next? Uh, well... We didn't get to another scene with um, Beto talking to Gravik. It seems fine, but it really it was just a plan to betray Gravik. But of course, because Gravik has super, um, um, uh, he's a super school. He used his freaking group powers to. Well, I wouldn't say it was all group powers. It was just super strength and group powers to just detain the, them all and kill Beto and his team. Now trying to defend him. Yeah. So yeah, basically Gravik's gone insane. Yeah, Gravik's gone them insane. Anyways, what's next? Fury then meets up with Gaia, who already knows Tails dead, and he, she basically tells Fury about what Grav has been planning with, but with the powers, and how he needs something called the Harvest, which is basically I think the Avengers DNA. So basically, Thor, Cap, Iron Man, Hulk, um, who else? Widow, Hawkeye, Wanda, Pietro. I think all those guys. Oh, I don't think Pietro. Oh, you never know. Fear might have went in and got Pietro's DNA. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Oh, God. And, um... Yeah, that's why, um... Uh, that explains the trailer about Fury saying that they... That he has something that they need. Which was the Harvest. So, Fury leaves. And with Gaia going to bury Tails' body. And with Priscilla. So, Gaia gets... Has his body, gives it to Priscilla, and um. Well, oh, wow, we're neat. We're Sonya, who actually goes to someone. I forgot the name of them, but he goes in, he shoots their hand, revealing them as a staying school. It leads them to, which leads her to Dalton, where she is basically figuring out all the stuff for um. The, um, you know, the super school thing. And he, she sends this stuff to Rhodey, which was by mistake, because she doesn't know she's a school yet until Fury tells her later on in the episode. Which make, leads to Rhodey telling Fury about, um, well, not Rhodey telling the president, Ritson, about, um, about the plan to freaking nuke the place, which was Star World War III. So yeah, that's gonna be happening. We then lead to Gaia, Fury, and Talos. And that stuff, and then it leads to a full-on attack by the scrolls, where, where it's full-on gunshot, gunshot thing, another insane gunshot moment. <laughs> yeah, basically that. Um, 
then next um we get we we actually see fury on a jet and here's the crazy thing this person we can see this when we see this person you probably not remembered him but this was the guy from black widow actually who helped natasha uh, with um d with her being on the run yeah same dude crazy not only that right after we see fury using those cloaks those black widow cloak things <laughs> In order to, um, get out of the airport. Yeah, there's been a lot of connections to Black Widow. Crazy. Who knows, maybe even Red Guardian appear might appear in the end of this. Or Elena. Eh, but we're not sure. Um, anyways, so we get to Fury with Sonya, and they're going to Finland. Basically where he kept the harvest, and one of his graves. So yeah, Fury has a lot of graves, apparently. Not just... To many graves, and um, this he basically has the has the harvest, and then he gears up back to his old coat and his eye patch and his gun, and he tells someone get ready. Now, and then that's how the episode ends. Now, I'm not totally sure who is this. What do you mean? I'm not totally sure who is gonna be this um um. I wonder if people are going to get crazy about talking about who are they saying get ready. It could be Gaia. Yeah, it could just be Gaia. Because we know Gaia is going to be in this place, I think. Along with Sonya and, and her crew. Um, Actually, now that I think about it, I think the DODC is actually going to be coming to New Skolos. Because we haven't seen that scene of um, the DODC getting Cole Obsidian's DNA, I think. Is the DODC going to raid the place? They probably will. Either that or a flashback. We're, we're not totally sure. But there may be one theory. There's gonna be a lot of theories who's furious saying this. One theory that I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna say is that it's gonna be the Agents of Shield. And they're gonna be here with Fury. I mean, I'm not totally sure if that would be true. That would be insane if that's who he's talking to. Who knows? It could be Monica. It could be Carol. It could be anyone at this point. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not that much to say because it was another short episode. Hey, the finale's coming soon. Hope you're all excited for that. Um, yeah. Uh, hope you all enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. A uh, quick thing. Um, apparently we left something out that was really important that just confirmed something. Fury was talking about something specific about a specific people who had to come in and collect the DNA. And... Definitely, now we we saw this in a TikTok that reminded us about this, and it is definitely Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yep, okay. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are canon. It's confirmed. Okay. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are, Agent of Shields are canon. We'll talk about them later in um the uh, 600, but yeah, just to let you know that. Um, Bye, everybody. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>